And happy Friday, everyone. In two months, Brent Dillman will lead his troops into battle for the first time when the Lions take on Mercer in the FCS kickoff classic. Once the season is over, though, Dillman will have to replace some key players and today offered a great opportunity for he and his staff to make waves on a recruiting trail. This afternoon, UNA hosted the first of two elite camps. Over 250 high school football players from the region participated in a four-hour workout in the shows. There was an emphasis of positional work with the respective position coach from the Lions staff. Coach Zierman said it was intentional for the staff to balance skill instruction and talent evaluation. We're going to put together a camp like nobody else does. We're, we're, we're giving every kid about an hour's worth of individual drills with our position coaches. You know, a lot of these camps are just eval camps where uh, these kids just go and run a couple 40s and do a, do a few little drills. And uh, it's more for the, the college than it is a player. So I told our staff we wanted to sow seeds into these players so they can go back and be better football players after the camp. Uh, you know, we'll do our eval stuff, but it, it, it's a way to sow seeds into these kids more than anything. No pads, no helmets, just shirts and shorts. The closest these campers get to a traditional game of football is that they're wearing old UNA jerseys. But Coach Dearman said there's a lot he and the staff can get from these activities, even out of a formal game environment. I get to float around. I get to see how a kid can change direction, either a defensive lineman reacting to a screen or an offensive lineman pulling around the edge and being able to block a guy in space, a receiver coming out of a break, a DB breaking on a football. So there's different ways we can see change of direction without having pads on. You know, you want to see explosive hips. So we've got some, a couple of drills laid out today where we can see how a guy can come out of his hips. Can he strike? Can he strike a sled? Can he strike a bag? There's different ways by every position that we are going to get to evaluate without pads on.